Hey, it's been a while. Um, yeah, hope you're well. Hope that you've had a good summer or winter, depending wherever you are in the world. Uh, apologies for lack of content recently. I have just been super busy with work. Um, I'm a wedding photographer by trade. I'm here in the UK now. We're obviously out of lockdown. Weddings have been able to go ahead. And I've essentially just had to squeeze in like 18 months worth of weddings into the past three or four months so it's been it's just been insanely busy you know I've just been shooting wedding after 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 wedding and it's been pretty intense um, so obviously I haven't had enough time to, to make any videos or put any content and stuff like that out there uh, but yeah I thought I'd do a quick video uh, just to kind of give you an update and uh, you know chat to you about my recent photographic endeavors. If you follow my channel already, you'll be aware that I recently started shooting large format this year, which I've really been enjoying, uh, like the entire process and kind of figuring out how to use the camera and, you know, the right film for me and developing and scanning the film and stuff. It's just been, just been fun. And um, so much so that I'm kind of considering large format being like my main medium of choice going forward in terms of like the film photography I shoot and you know longer projects and stuff like that. Although I did a portrait shoot uh, in the past the vast majority of pictures I've taken with large format have just been of my family and friends and people that I know. Um, I also I picked up a new lens for large format uh, recently um, which was a it's a 135 millimeter uh, Schneider f3.5 lens which has been great in full frame terms I think it's somewhere between 30 and 40 millimeters uh, and it's like f1 or f1.1 in terms of you know depth of field and the amount of light it lets in so that's been pretty cool I've only again done a few sort of test portraits of my family and friends haven't really used it too much yet because I've been busy with work but I'm keen to get out and definitely properly test it and put it through its paces and I've been kind of undecided on whether to do that um, either like with a model or some portraits of strangers so I thought maybe I'd put that to a vote to you guys if you can comment below or I might put a poll on my Instagram as well comment uh, either model or you know strangers and whatever gets the most votes that'll be one of my next videos I will go out with my large format camera and that uh, Schneider f3.5 lens and I will either go out with a model and take you know some photos of her and shoot some sheets of film or I will go out and I will wander the streets and I will ask some strangers for some portraits. But yeah, like I say, I've really been enjoying shooting large format. I've actually also accidentally kind of started a project without meaning to. So once I got back to shooting weddings, I always brought the large format camera with me. I just had it in my boots uh, with some film holders loaded with some FP4 or HP5. I predominantly shoot black and white film. And um, yeah, I started getting it out during couple portraits and um, I took a few portraits of some different wedding couples. But then I worked a wedding and there was like a very interesting guest. He was a nephew of the groom and uh, he had like a cool hat and he played guitar and he played guitar as they were like walking down the aisle. And um, I just thought it was really cool and an interesting character. So I asked him, would you mind if I take your portrait on large format? Turns out he was into film photography as well. and He was like more than happy to sit for the portrait. And then there was another wedding where there were two brothers of the bride and they were quite cool as well and the whole sort of family situation, they were very, very close. Like, I'm not very close with my siblings, but these guys were like so, so close. They were hugging the stuff all day. And I just found it very interesting and a, an interesting relationship. So I asked them if I could take their portrait. And then I took a few more, more sort of like of other interesting characters throughout the wedding season, not too many. But I thought it could be an interesting concept for a, a project or a photo book going forward. So I could just call it guests or something like that, you know, and I could just carry on this project for as long as I am a wedding photographer. I'll be that five, 10, 15 years. As long as I'm doing it, I could carry on just bringing the camera, having it in my boot. If there is someone interesting, you know, not forcing it. If there's someone interesting at a wedding and I have some spare time, asking them for a portrait and just carrying that on for a good few years and seeing where that goes. What else? So basically, what I've decided is with large format, uh, it's probably going to be my main sort of 
medium of choice in terms of long-term project work and what I shoot with film photography. So large formats kind of, it's gripped me. I really love it. Um, I've been shooting a lot of film over the past sort of two years. And one thing I've noticed is um, I make these like yearly family photo albums that just kind of show like the best photos I've taken that year of, you know, my family, myself and stuff. Um, just so they can look back at them when they're older. And one thing that was missing is, you know, these sort of like quicker moments because film's a little bit slower and you've got to focus, and maybe pose people. I wasn't getting these moments that I used to get when I shot a lot more digital of these like quick sort of moments of the kids just being themselves or, you know, running down a hill or doing this. So I thought to myself, right, I might try and get into shooting more 35 millimeter and getting like a nice cool sort of everyday carry so I picked up a camera called uh, a Minolta CLE which is a very small little rangefinder 35mm camera very cool very nice looking it fit into my jacket pocket easily um, and it was very nice and I went away with the family to the Isle of Wight for like five or six nights and I took nothing but that camera just to kind of test it out put it through its paces and see kind of if I was able to get these moments that I was I missing back. Um, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I shot a variety of films, some colours, some black and white, you know, Kodak and all that stuff. And um, it was, yeah, it was really, really fun to use. It's really, really sexy camera. It feels great in the hands. If you don't know about it, basically Minolta teamed up or collaborated with Leica. I think back in like the late 70s, early 80s. I don't know the exact date, you know. If you're interested in learning the history, I'm sure there are a ton of videos on YouTube about the Minota, Minota CLE, it's a great camera. But basically it's essentially like a Leica made camera because Leica gave them all their blueprints for the lenses. So all the lenses are like exactly the same as Leica lenses. Like I had the 40 millimeter F2 Rockall lens, which is supposed to be identical to the uh, Leica 40 millimeter F2 lens, but much, much cheaper, of course. And um, yeah, the quality was great. It was just astounding, really, really sharp. However, I'm sure I could get better and quicker, but I was still missing those moments that I would have got had I been shooting digital, you know, whether it's down to autofocus or just me being sort of crap at it. Also, do you know what? After shooting large format and medium format, when you see a 35 millimeter negative, it just, it's just not the same, you know, because it is so small compared to like a four by five negative. It's kind of off-putting how grainy and stuff it can be. And I feel, for me going forwards, if I'm going to be sticking predominantly to shooting large format for sort of my film photography work, I decided that actually shooting 35mm just doesn't cut it. You know, I'm just it's just something I'm not really that interested in. And um, I picked up a Fuji X100V instead. And this is something that I've been using a lot just for documenting my family. I actually shoot this at weddings. This is constantly just dangling around my neck on this little strap. I picked up this uh, WCL wide angle adapter for it as well. So for those that don't know the Fuji X100V, it's a fixed focal length camera equivalent of a 35 millimeter focal length. And this adapter makes it a 28. And um, yeah, I've just really been enjoying the 28 millimeter field of view for sort of documenting my family and documenting wedding days and stuff like that. It's essentially the cheaper version of a Leica Q2 because I can't afford a Leica. Uh, but this has been great, small, easy to use. And if I want 35 instead of 28, I need only to just screw that off and I've got 35 instead of 28. So that's been great fun to use for documenting, you know, my family and whatnot. So I thought to myself, right, I know where I am in terms of 35 millimeter, not really that interested in it anymore. Uh, what about medium format? So I thought I just, it'd been a while since I shot medium format, so I thought I would go out with a model who's appeared on the channel before. Her name is Annabelle. I shot some large format portraits with her back when I first got the large format camera. And um, yeah, I'm a strong believer in if you work with a model and you get on with them, you know, it's easy to communicate. They like the photos you give them, you like the look that they provide, then work with them again and work with them again and then again. You know, there's, there's a few models who live local to me uh, who I've worked with multiple times in the past. One model in particular, her name's Sophie Daly, and I've known her for years now. We've worked together so many times, I've lost count. You know, I consider her a friend now. And I think. 
the more you work with someone, like the more you get to know them, the more that you open up with each other, the more that they can give you themselves, the more that you feel comfortable enough to ask them what you want and stuff like that, and it just gets easier. And don't get me wrong, you know, I enjoy working with new models and often when I've got the time I'll shoot test shoots and I'll go up to London and I enjoy, you know, seeing what you can get out or get from someone in such a short space of time. You might only have an hour or two hours and kind of seeing what images you can make together. It's exciting, it's fun. However, working with a model again and again and getting to know someone the photos will only just get better as you both get more comfortable with each other. So I'm a strong believer in that. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we went out one evening just for a couple of hours, uh, did a couple of different looks and shot a bunch of lomography films. So I've been in talks in the past with the marketing manager uh, of Lomography UK. She sends me uh, some films every now and again. So I had a bit of a build up of some color films and some black and white films from Lomography. So I thought it'd be a good chance to just go out and try all these different films at the same time and also test out shooting medium format and see if I'm still up for doing that. We went out, we shot some Lomography Color 100 to start with while the sun was still out uh, and then she changed the look to like a more urban look and I had a roll of uh, Lomochrome Met Metropolis 100 which is quite a desaturated urban-y look which I think suited the look she was doing quite well. Uh, and then we have the beach and I shot some Berlin Kino 400 uh, and then just as the sun was going down I swapped to a roller of Lomography Colour 800. So yeah it was just literally to kind of get out, see kind of the results that I was able to get still from medium format, just remind myself how to use the camera and whether I wanted to keep it and keep using it going forwards and yeah I was pretty happy with the results and I feel like although a, it's still a slow camera, it's much faster than large format using it. So for shooting like portraits and trying to get movement and you know getting photos of someone without ha them having to stand still for five minutes, it's, it's a good thing to keep. So yeah, going forwards, I think in terms of film photography, I'm gonna be sticking with large format and medium format and just scrapping 35 millimeter. And for anything quicker than shooting film, I'll just shoot digital. But um, yeah, so that's me pretty much sorted. Like I kind of figured out what I want to do in terms of film photography going forwards and where I'm going to go. Um, also, if you follow my channel, uh, one last thing before I let you go. Uh, my book is about to be released. So this is my first photography book. Um, uh, if you follow my channel, you'll probably be aware of the project called The Southwind Project. So this is something I started during lockdown and I shot from December 2020 to March 2021. So when we were at the peak of the UK lockdown, like the worst sort of peak in terms of coronavirus, where deaths were high, hospitalizations were high, cases were super high, everyone was scared, there was a lot of fear. We were locked down in our houses, we weren't allowed to see family, we weren't allowed to see friends. Um, it was a scary time and it was a depressing time in the UK. And uh, yeah, pretty much we were allowed this sort of one hour a day allowance of daily exercise. And pretty much every other day, I just walked up and down this sort of same stretch of three mile seafront uh, along the beach, just up and then back and then came home. And when I was going for these walks, I either took my Mamiya RB67 with me or a 35 millimeter uh, film camera and I was just shooting black and white film. And over four months, I obviously built up a body of work from doing that. And I think subconsciously, you know, I had no plan initially. I knew that I was just gonna document my hometown. And initially the plan was just to, to document it throughout a year and kind of cherry pick the best images. But because of what was going on at the time, subconsciously, you know, through my photography, all these emotions were coming out, these emotions of loneliness and depression. And I started taking pictures of like solo subjects from afar and kind of, I was setting up these scenes where I just wait for someone to walk into it and take a picture of them. And then slowly as my confidence build, I started approaching strangers and asking them for portraits, just these people that are out by themselves to kind of add to that feeling of like solo loneliness. You know, we were very alone at that time. So I'm gonna do a video soon talking about how I shot the project, how I approached it, how I sequenced the book, how I made the book, how I designed it, how I approached the printer, everything. But basically, I'm at the point now where I'm just speaking with the printers and we're just finalizing the final book. And uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, I'm going to be releasing the pre-order of the book, uh, ready to launch on my, or ship on my 20, on my 
35th birthday, which is the 27th of November, because that is when I had a little bit of a mini mental breakdown last year due to what was going on in the world and the pandemic and stuff. And 50% uh, of all profits made from the book will be donated to the mental health charity Mind. But I'm going to do another video talking about that in its entirety, so I won't ramble on or keep you too long. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I love you. <laughs> um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. I've got plenty more videos on the way. Don't forget to comment down below, um, either model or strangers, depending what you'd like to see me shoot some large format portraits of, and I'll, I'll film that video in the next couple of weeks and get that up as well. But um, yeah, that's it from me. I've got another one coming. I've got, I'm have got i shooting a Halloween shoot actually next week as well, which I'm gonna do a video for as well, which will be should hopefully be quite fun. Um, but yeah. I've kept you long enough. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Nice to see you guys, or nice for you to see me. I don't know. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.